Okay, uh, one more update here <clears throat> before we get to the some of the software and configuration is the uh, rails for the uh, Norco chassis, the 4220. And uh, here's one that I haven't installed yet. I wanted to show um, kind of how it works. Is it has two little end caps uh, with brackets, and these actually have a little uh, they're keyed. If you can kind of see see the little pop up right there so that'll actually slide in you know and align itself with the uh, holes in the rack and we'll see that in just like I've already mounted one but so all you do is uh, these are adjustable I did figure out I think I was mentioning that but you see this little the metal piece kind of down the center channel there that actually slides in and out so um, adjustable I, I don't know what the shortest distance is but it'll go a long ways and I only had to pull mine out maybe three or four inches to get it to fit so uh, that's pretty much it so these will sit on the inside of the uh, rack or the rack mount and then the little end cap goes on the outside and pinches it to this so I'll show you show you the one that's installed Let's see if we can see it so here it is so you can see there's the little end cap and then the actual rail sits on the inside and then the same thing on the back side so then these ball bearing things will just slide right out so definitely make maintenance on this a lot easier uh, if you ever have to pull it out so and you don't have to worry about sitting it on something else which is what all this other junk on the bottom is so I had a bunch of old Dell servers and up until I got that Norco going uh, I was using one of them and now I'm not using any of these so these will probably end up on Craigslist or thrown away yeah because these old ones are but these top ones are pretty old and then here's my current ESX server I'm actually I was just as I was about to start filming this I'm gonna I was gonna go look at Norco's site and just find like a cheap uh, well you know I guess a, a 4U I, I think I forgot to mention this too so the 4U what's nice about it is it uses a standard power supply all the other ones you have to have a specific power supply you know for like a 2U server or whatever so that's why I went with a 4U as well and thinking about it, that's probably what I'm going to have to do. So, I may not do that. I may just set this one on top of it or, or below it or something. Because I'll have room once these come out. Especially these top two or three. They're, they're the oldest of the servers. So, anyways, that's pretty much it. So, this is my uh, my rack. Got my uh, remote power control here. I use this to turn my, uh, my CCIE lab on and off. Which is uh, up next. Got a broken ASA that I bought off eBay uh, but it turns out that I couldn't get it to work so that's uh, no bueno and then I've got a router there that I'm using just testing different VLANs with uh, VMware the whole the whole thing from well with ESX I just wanted to get some knowledge on it uh, for data center type stuff that way I can actually know what I'm talking about I was a big uh, Zen fan prior to this so I'm a big open source guy but been playing around with VMware and it's a pretty good tool and everybody runs it so I guess I gotta learn it uh, next little thing I have is really cool it's a, a digi uh, connect where this is their console manager or yeah there's the name uh, I don't know if you can see it with all these cables it's a digi CM32 which is like a console manager what it is is on the back uh, it's got a bunch of RJ45 ports and they, uh, you can SSH or Telnet to it um, on different ports into this machine and it'll dump you out into the console on whatever devices you plug in and in my case is all of these routers and stuff my camera doesn't zoom out very far but this is my CCIE lab and it's based on the uh, Internet Work Expert uh, diagram so it's built exactly like that and uh, yeah so when I'm uh, not playing around with VMware this is what I'm I'm going through their labs. Hopefully I'll be taking the uh, CCIE practical by the end of February, sometime in there. So that's pretty much it. I got an old access point and an old, old access point of Linksys up there that I need to just decommission. So so anyways, that's my rack. So we'll uh, go take a look at some of the software, crash plan, and I have the RAID set up and all that for anybody that's interested. So if you have any questions, again, just let me know.